Hello everyone, and in today's video, let's take a closer look at Telesyn T10, a wireless remote control that lets you wirelessly control up to 5 GoPro cameras simultaneously. This accessory is going to be quite interesting for you if you want to control your GoPro from a distance, when you want to start or stop the recording, take a photo without physically touching the shutter button. Now, please notice that this accessory costs around only $35 and when compared to the original remote control from GoPro, which costs like $85, makes it a really nice deal. Let's take a closer look at this thing and see if it's worth your money. What do we have inside of the package? Well, let's take a look. All right, so this is everything that we have inside of the box, and that's gonna be Telsyn T10 remote control, a Velcro strap, a charging cable, and a user guide. Telesyn T10 is only compatible with newer camera models, so it's gonna work with GoPro 10, 9, 8, and even uh, GoPro Max. However, it's not gonna work with older camera models, so if you have GoPro Hero 7 Black or even older, it's not gonna work. But first, we need to pair a remote control with our camera, so let's do this. Once that we have successfully paired a remote control with our camera, there's no need to repeat that process ever again in the future, assuming that the Wi-Fi on the camera is turned on. Let's take a closer look at the control panel. Here we have four buttons to wirelessly control our camera. We have a record button, a power and mode button, a preset button, and a start button. Slightly higher, we have a tiny LCD screen which gives us basic information about uh, whether we are in video, photo or time-lapse mode, how much battery life we still have in our remote control or our camera and how long we are recording our video for. Let me quickly show you how you can wirelessly control your camera using the four buttons on the remote control. So first, let's take a look at the power and mode button. If you press and hold on it, you can turn your camera on and off. This way, you can save your battery life whenever you have to. As you see, the camera just turned on. However, if you single press on it, you can cycle between different modes of your camera, so you can select uh, photo, time-lapse, or even video mode as you please. Slightly higher, we have a record button. So obviously, if I press on it, I will start recording a video. And on the tiny LCD display, I can see how long my video is being recorded for. If I want to stop, I press on it again. With the preset button on the left, I can cycle between different presets of our camera. So if we are in a video mode, if I press on it, I can cycle between different presets, like standard, activity or cinematic. And this thing can be done in a photo, video or time-lapse mode. However, I noticed that once we are in a video mode and you are on the third preset, this thing simply stacks and you cannot go beyond that or uh, reset it. So if you are in a video mode, uh, this thing is not 100% working correctly. There is no problem about it if you are in any other mode like photo, you can go uh, and cycle as many times as you like, there is no issue about it. Lastly, the star button is designed to select which mode is going to be quickly selected whenever you click on it. So, for example, you can quickly come back to video mode with just a single press of a button without having to cycle between different modes and waste your time. So, according to Telescene, this remote control has a maximum operating range of like 80 meters uh, without interference. Whether or not it's true, well, there's only one way to find out. All right, so I got my camera over here, everything is set up and the idea is that I'm gonna go all the way in a straight line until I make like uh, 80 meters, uh, roughly around that. I'm gonna count my steps, so let's do this. One, two, three, four. 
53, 54, 56, 57, 58, 57, 78, 79, 80 meters. So roughly around this distance, I'm like 80 meters away from the camera. And let's try to go to photo mode. Okay, now time-lapse mode. And let's come back to video mode once again. Now let's hit on the record button. As you see, there is a slight delay. It's not instantaneous, but I'm recording. Our video is currently like five, six, seven seconds uh, recorded for. Anyway, uh, let's hit on the record button once again. There might be some slight delays, uh, some small interruptions with the signal, but uh, sooner or later it restores the connection. Normally I don't expect that you're going to record uh, 80 meters away from your camera, but uh, if you really want to, it works. Now bear in mind that this remote control is not fully uh, waterproof. It's gonna survive some minor splashes of water, but if you try to submerge it in the water, it's not gonna survive it. Now, if you want to connect a secondary camera to it while still being connected to the first one, all you have to do is go to the wireless connections on your camera. So let's go to preferences and connections. And from here, let's enable our wireless connection on. Let's click on connect and let's select a remote control. And now let's click and hold on the preset button until the Bluetooth icon starts flashing. And we have established a successful connection between the two. So this way you can cycle between different modes of your camera. So you can select between photo, time-lapse or video mode as you please. You can start and stop the recording. Let's stop it. And lastly, you can uh, simultaneously turn all of your cameras off. However, once you shut down these cameras, it's only possible to power on the first camera that you pair with. So that's gonna be GoPro Hero 10 Black. So if I press on the power button, I'm gonna turn it on. Whereas all the other extra cameras are gonna have to be turned on manually, which is really bad. And having to reconnect the rest of my cameras every single time is simply such a waste of time. Now, let's talk about the battery life of this thing. So even though it only has 300 milliamp battery inside of it, it lets you use it up to 10 hours of working time when it's fully charged. It's definitely gonna be enough for like entire day of shooting or even a whole weekend depending on your needs. And it takes only like two and a half hours to fully charge. Considering you get 10 hours out of it, it's really impressive. Inside of the package, we can also find a wrist strap so we can attach this remote control around your wrist and have your hands free when you control your camera. But thanks to that wrist strap, it's also possible to attach it to a selfie stick or any other of your accessories. Perhaps you want to attach this remote control to your bicycle. You can do that with it. But in case that you don't like the wrist strap or maybe you left it at home, at the back of this remote control, there's a small loophole that can be used with an adjustable lanyard. So if you want to um, mount it somehow differently on your wrist, there's always another option to do it. All right, so this is what Telsin T10 remote control has to offer. And this accessory costs around $35 and it's probably the cheapest remote control that you can get for your GoPro camera. Being able to wirelessly control your GoPro or even a few of them up to 80 meters range, it's really good. It's definitely a cheaper alternative to GoPro original remote control, which costs like $85. Is it better or not? I'll have to test it. But if you are on a budget, you can buy like two of these for the price of the original one. I honestly think that the biggest letdowns is that you cannot turn on multiple cameras at the same time. But if you are going to use it with just a single camera, it's a sweet deal. Anyway, guys, Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe. This way you help me grow this channel even further and I really want to thank you for that. See you in the next video guys.